Hi, this is Shadi and today I'm going to be discussing the concept of inside position. Now, this is not something of John Danaher's um, invention, but nonetheless, he is very vocal about it. So um, this video is actually about the importance of concepts uh, because concepts, in my opinion, overweight techniques by a large margin. Uh, the idea of concepts specifically in Jiu Jitsu and Judo is not something uh, new. I talked about this in the uh, upbringing of Matei Montanabe, how he came up with two concepts. He didn't say techniques, but he said two concepts. The first one being the eel restraint. And he talks about uh, how if an eel is squeezed incredibly hard, they will slip out. So he used this type of, uh, but if you are very subtle, uh, you can restrain it and he used the same approach uh, when it came to top control and also the concept of the snake and the frog how you know you should always envelop always limiting the movements of your opponent in order to eventually you know go for the kill so uh, the concept of inside position can be found anywhere and i mean uh, guard prevention as you are seeing here uh, the idea of inside position is to have your hands or your feet depending on what you are trying to do inside uh, your opponent's hands or feet in order to execute or manage or maintain distance so for example uh, here uh, when it comes to retaining guard uh, you need to have your arms inside because you manage the distance because if you do not manage distance they will grab your head and once they do free their legs, it's game over for you and you're stuck. Basically, that's very important for judokas as well because Osai Komi is the devil in my opinion. So uh, the concept of inside position can be found uh, anywhere, leg locks, guard passing, uh, when you are trying to escape a bad position. Uh, but uh, if you know anything about judo, you would know that nothing is the end all be all and anything have its negatives and its positive and it can be easily countered and i'm gonna show in every single aspect whether it is the standing uh, trying to escape trying to maintain or trying to go for leg locks you can be countered as well so uh, the first one being obviously is guard retention as you are seeing here john danaher uh, doing a great demonstration of keeping his hand close to his head in order to manage distance uh, and recover guard or simply disengage so uh, like I said concepts outweigh techniques by a large margin and we should go by concepts rather than techniques for example an armbar or a triangle you can find it from uh, dominant positions maybe the inverted triangle is the only exception um, where you can like really go for triangles in very bad spot obviously it needs a lot of flexibility and dexterity and it cannot work unless you know how to frame which is, framing by the way is a form of inside position um, shrimping and then going for uh, a triangle but basically you need to create inside position in order to go for an inverted triangle even though you are in a bad spot so the concept of inside position is really good for managing distance and uh, also managing your position whether it is good or bad but like i said it can be countered very easily especially if you are in the bad position i'm gonna show a few examples uh in just a second so like i said it is not the invention of uh, john danaher but he is very most vocal about it and in my opinion it should be discussed because concepts are very important far more than techniques so uh, the first example of how and nothing is the end all be all is here you are trying to frame you are trying to go for either an inverted triangle or uh, like a hip escape or elbow escape or knee escape uh, and you have your hand framing uh, inside your opponent's hand so here for example if they are in a dominant position obviously they will get the, uh, the submission like the ude garami or americana in bjj so uh, these are very important uh, like I said, example, because we need to understand that in Judo, everything is reversible and everything is countered. So uh, you need to be very much calculated when you are doing inside position, uh, keep everything close to you. That's why they say uh, the prayer hand position is very optimal in positions like side control or mount. Uh, so 
here you see they are being demonstrated how uh, it can be isolated because you are in a terrible position but if uh, he is in your guard he cannot do that obviously unless he's very tall and very strong but uh, everything can be countered I'm gonna move over to leg locks and show you how inside position works when it comes to leg locks now I'm gonna take the very uh, famous example of Gordon Ryan so here he is against Muhammad Ali he goes for like a Russian tie but notice how he hooks both legs in uh, in order to get into inside position so here he goes both legs in and try and goes for his uh, inside sankaku or what they call uh, the saddle and here after he gets that uh, inside sankaku or the saddle uh, Muhammad Ali is basically stuck so uh, this is what uh, inside position and followed by the Ashi Garami uh, battle so to speak so here you see he got it very quickly um, but how to counter this well it's very easy you see when someone well easier said than done actually when someone is going for a leg lock and they need to have inside position uh, between your legs uh, they're not playing guard essentially they're actually going inside your legs in order for the uh, you know in order to break them but uh, think about this for a second if they have your their legs inside you meaning you can you have access to their knees and you can do like a like a i'm not gonna say cartwheel or like a jump but basically get past the legs from over the top in order to get to something like side control or uh mount basically so uh like i said anything can be countered now this is obviously easier said than done but you need to be very strategic and very uh acrobatic uh in skipping over the legs that are trying to get uh, inside or in the middle of your own uh, legs because uh, you don't have time basically once they get that position they're gonna go for either like a single leg X or Ashigarami 50-50 uh, or outside Sankaku or uh, the inside Sankaku which is the saddle so uh, but you can easily not not easily like I said but uh, Theoretically speaking, you can hop over those legs and get the inside uh, or the mount position like here you, t you see, but you need to be very careful not to get uh, swept with the butterfly uh, sweep or the, uh, in Japanese, it is the Hikikomi Gaishi. So uh, obviously anything can be countered, anything can be escaped, uh, anything can be worked for and against. So. Uh, like I said, the concept of inside position is very important to understand uh, in leg locks, in all traditional uh, judo and jiu-jitsu when it comes to uh, guard, passing guard, top position, so on and so forth. And I'm gonna go over the stand-up and show you the benefits and also how, the, uh, also like everything else, it is not the end-all, uh, be-all. So uh, let's go over to the stand-up. So here you see Yarden. Uh, Jerby from Israel demonstrating the inside position in the stand-up kumikata or the grip fighting so it is mostly uh, being done left uh, on right uh, or when someone has uh, like a armpit and lapel grip like Shohei Ono that's also considered inside position so here uh, the idea of inside position is having your uh, lapel the, the hand that's grabbing the lapel on the inside uh, while the other one needs to have it on the outside in order first of all to manage distance uh, and also someone who is very strong and tall uh, you can easily prevent them from getting like a high grip down your back or your shoulders and uh, you can prevent them from breaking your posture uh, basically so uh, here you can demonstrate that you can close the gap with your elbow or you can outstretch it in order to keep them at bay for example when they are trying to get inside position you close the gap with your elbow uh, here as she demonstrates uh, Bezalel was going for the inside grip and by closing in the distance she managed to not only keep her at bay but also uh, staying in control now is it the end all be all when it comes to kumikata some say uh, when you are left versus right you need to always have it uh, outside but in my opinion that's not the case uh, there's many people that play outside uh, and score upon very easily because being outside also has its advantages so let's take an example of Joshiro Maruyama so Joshiro Maruyama is here against uh, 
Denis Vieru in the Masters of 2018. He has outside position notice. I'm gonna play it again. So here you see Vieru has the inside position while Maruyama has the outside grip, but uh, having the outside grip allowed Maruyama to uh, easily flare his elbow without any resistance when going for the Uchimata. So uh, this is another example. He has like an inside position, but it's a bit, uh, the Mongolian has like a, uh, Gambold has a weak grip here. Um, he was, he didn't have so much control. So uh, when it comes to judo, the grip fighting, the stand up, when you have the inside position, you can easily manage the distance, inside position, you manage the distance, especially against someone who is strong and someone who is uh, looking to get a dominant grip over the back. Inside position can be great, but when you have a very classical grip like the Japanese, uh, in the case of Mariyama, it was very easy to flare the elbow up while punching down and going for that Uchimata because if Mariyama had the inside position and flaring his elbow, if Fierro was stronger, he could have blocked uh, the Kuzushi of Mariyama and that Uchimata would have been rendered uh, useless. But if you have inside position left on right, you can go for attacks like Seyuranage with the lapel uh, variation or for example, uh, here you see in front of you uh, Fabio Basile, he doesn't have inside position, but nonetheless it is perfect for Kataguruma. So everything has its pros and cons, but uh, inside position can be a very useful tool for your all well-rounded game in judo. Stand up, playing guard, passing guard, uh, trying to escape from Osai Komi. Uh, because cross face and getting your head stuck is very uh, dangerous when you're trying to escape. So if you have anything else to add, uh, but also excuse my voice, I'm very ill. So if you have anything else to add, let me know down below. Also consider supporting me on Patreon. I have content that's exclusive for the patrons only. And if you are a patron, please go check the uploads. Um, they're already there. You can just click on them and watch them. So if you have anything else to add, let me know down below. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.